Hey guys, Crystal and Shadow here, back with Steven Universe, and this time, it's the test. So, Steven demanded a test to prove how well he can handle missions, only to find out it was rigged. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'm giving this a 4.5. Mm. Look, look, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. One day there will be an episode with just the four of them that is actually enjoyable. Mm. But so far, the tradition has not been proven broken. But, look, this episode could have been good. It really did. When ep when Steven figured out that it was all fake, I honestly thought one of two things should have happened. Either A, he was going to tell them it was fake, that would have at least been better than him lying to make them happy that he they made him happy, or two, even better, is it turns out it being fake is the test all along. That would have been a cool trick. Yeah, I see what you mean. Because sometimes in these silly dungeon episodes, half the time something happens because there's something, it's more than what it appears, and maybe that would have been the lesson that things are more than what they appear. That would have been a cool twist as well. So I just figured out two ways that this episode could have been better, but wasn't. And there wasn't even that many good moments or clever comedy or anything. What a yeah. disappointing episode. Well, I think they were trying to show that the gems don't really know what they're doing. We and, already knew that! And and Stephen finally heard them saying that, and, you know, he wanted to make them feel better, and, um, like, when he said this was exactly what I needed, he was showing them that they can handle him. I suppose you could say what he needed was transparency, which is what he got by overhearing them speak. I guess so. That I suppose that's kind of the message they were going for, but still, I would have preferred one of the twists I had thought of. Mm. Yeah, they kind of had a moment of suspense where we weren't sure if he was going to tell them he knew or not. Yeah, the only look, the only compliment I could give is the moment where Stephen just walks through the whole maze with absolutely nothing. Yeah, and that music was amazing. You thought, I suppose you were thinking he was going to tell them because he just walked through with such determination, you know, even though we're not, a, you know, that just walking through knowing nothing can happen, but still, it was a disappointing episode compared to some of the previous episodes. Yeah, I definitely don't really care to rewatch it. I didn't, I didn't really appreciate it the first time I watched it, and I still don't really care to rewatch it, but See, I... The thing is, I've noticed that you've said, obviously, going into this, you said for the most part, you usually don't care for season one episodes, but you've shown appreciation for episodes that I've enjoyed, which are technically filler. Your ep your enjoyment goes up when you realize I'm enjoying things you don't really care for. Yeah, I guess so. But also, there are sometimes episodes that you think are big, and then I say, who gives a damn? But this is one of the rare times where you both say, well, so what? It was just there. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll finally give uh, less than average and go 4.5. I'm thinking 4. Mm. The only... At least it gave a continuity reference to, like, the third episode, I think it yes, was. Yes, Cheeseburger Backpack. And also it referenced Serious Steven with um the spikes and also the music puzzle. I guess so. Yeah, the only, that's the thing, the only thing I can think of is when there's a continuity reference, it really does put my mind back to when I first saw that episode, and my goodness was Cheeseburger episode, like, way at the beginning. Yeah, it was episode three. I know, but, you know, this, that's, that's the thing, we always, the whole thing's supposed to be about how far Stevens come, but honestly, I, you know, it, this is what, 37 episodes I've watched? Hmm. 37 episodes I've watched. Think about that from how far I've come. This has been a journey for me. Yes, this will be great when you get to certain stuff. I know, you know, sometimes it you seems You can like, look back and see how clueless sometime, you used to be. Sometimes you look at episodes like this and you think, oh, I look bored. But then you've got to remember how much I'm enjoying other episodes and I'm having fun with this. Obviously, you know, I don't treat it as big as other people, and I still think that's the way it should be. It's not a show you're meant to treat as big, but it's an enjoyable show, and it just knows, you know, there are times where it knows what it's doing, but then there are episodes like this where it tries to be a bit more serious, and you think, oh, who cares? 
Yeah. The episodes where it's not as serious and it's the more filler episodes are the, ironically, you know, usually people dread filler. These are the ones I enjoy most. I mean, the other episodes, not this. Mm. Yeah, this definitely was not such a successful attempt at a serious episode. Yeah, which, okay, like I said, I'm giving it a four and that's being generous, but what's the next episode? It is called Future Vision. Ah, I knew this show had time travel. It already did. Did it? Steven and the Stevens! Oh my god, how could I forget that? There was going to be time travel in the unaired pilot. What am I thinking of? Oh, of course, of course. It's future vision. Steven is vibe. (laughs) No. He's my Riolu from Explorers of Sky. I'm going to shut up. All right, shut up in any episode. Good idea. I'm shutting up in three, two, one. Maui! (laughs) 